needless to say, I'm very happy with it now. So I've got some explaining to do. Why did I get rid of the copper pipe? Well, after chatting with a few friends of mine who know a little bit more about flow dynamics, using a bigger pipe is actually a contradiction to its performance. Now, let me explain. What happened was, when my foot pedal, my old foot pedal, was on the floor, there was a length of pipe going to the cylinder. That, so it went from the compressor to the foot pedal, from the foot pedal, then it went along the floor, up here, to the cylinder. Now, in that time, once I've used the hammer, that whole pipe depressurizes. And then, it needs to repressurize itself again, but because of the length and because of the size of the bore, it, there's like a delay as, as pressure builds up. And it's, it's fractional, but it actually makes quite a big difference. So it makes sense then that off-the-shelf pneumatic pipes for these size cylinders have a maximum rating of 12 millimeter bore sizes or half inch for my lovely American friends. So, which doesn't seem much different to this. This is 15 millimeter copper pipe. So you're reducing that bore down now to 12 millimeters, but it's like, it's like it's the optimum. So it's not too thin that the pipe causes a restriction of flow, but it's not too thick that you get this delay of pressurization. Now the other thing that makes this now work so good is having the valve as close to the cylinder as possible. So this pipe here that goes into the valve, that's under constant pressure. That comes straight from the compressor. So I've not got to worry about the length of this one so much. But the, the pipes now that go from the valve to the cylinder, because they constantly depressurize and repressurize, having that space, that volume in that pipe as small as possible means that it will operate a lot more quicker, therefore more powerfully. And you'll have noticed that I had the shortest piece on the downstroke, which makes perfect sense because I want the maximum power to go straight down into the material. Now, some people uh, have said, you know, if you have the cylinder the other way up, surely it's more powerful. The answer to that is actually no. It is more powerful because you've got the maximum bore size for the rate of pressure that that cylinder will do. But the performance of this hammer is more about speed and it's actually the opposite way around that you get the maximum speed rating. So having the cylinder in this orientation, you get the, the maximum surface area to create enough pressure to lift the whole weight of this hammer head up. And that's the ideal thing, to lift against gravity all that weight up using the maximum surface area. Now because of the rod on the other side of the cylinder, there's actually a lot less volume of space to fill for it to come back down again. And because you've got gravity now working for you, it comes down at a heck of a rate a lot quicker than it goes up, which is part of, a, 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 which is an excellent feature, I think, of this hammer to increase its power rating. So another, one other reason why I didn't like the copper pipe so much anymore is there was a little bit of moisture in there because obviously I took out the dryer, but what that was then doing is putting verdigris inside the cylinder and I was a little bit unhappy about that. Going back to the braided pipe is definitely the right decision uh, and all I've done is I've orientated it so it's no longer near any of the hot space. So it's all up and out the way, I've put it above here going back to the, and I've moved the compressor quite far away. Now I could actually put the compressor out in a shed somewhere else and it would be a lot less noisy in here which would be nice. So uh, the foot pedal that I made that is stainless steel and I know what a lot of people will, will now be saying is that I shouldn't have made it the way I made it because it's contaminated the stainless steel and you're absolutely right I've, I've worked a lot with stainless steel and normally you have it all clinical and you use only stainless steel tooling, tooling to do all the form work. Uh, however 
because this foot pedal is going to be in a contaminated environment anyway from my boot being with loads of iron scale be rubbing all over it and dust and and all of that malarkey I wasn't I'm not worried so much about it and, it, and all I would do is just get a, a stainless steel wire wheel and just give it a good polish up now and again just to take any of that contamination off the stainless steel uh, but the hammer is now fully completed. I don't think I will upgrade this anymore. I think it's at optimum performance now and I'm really happy about it. Now if there's anything that I've missed or forgotten to mention uh, that people have asked in the previous videos, um, just leave me some comments down, in the dis in, down below because I will answer them as best as I can. So while I remember this point, um, so the cylinder has a rubber cushion inside it and you can buy these cushions now from my Etsy shop. I, I've made some dies and uh, in my workplace we, we cut these out. Um, and it's one inch ballistic rubber and it's fantastic stuff. Uh, and that cushion doesn't interfere with the stroke of the cylinder. It, it, it doesn't affect its performance at all. But it, what it does is it does protect the top of the cylinder for when this hammerhead comes all the way back up. Now what I've been trying to do in the use of the hammer is rather than letting it fully extend smack back at the top and then back down again constantly through the forging, what I tried to do is try to catch it with my foot um, before it reaches the top so that I'm essentially extending the life of the cylinder. So, so repressurizing it just before it hits the top so it comes back down again without ever touching the top. And then when I've stopped using the hammer, I try the last pedal, I try to just ease off slowly so it just returns a bit slower than normal. Uh, because I think if anything is going to break on this hammer, it's the cylinder just because it is taking some abuse. And now some have said, why don't you put a bump stop on here uh, and all of that. Again, I could, but it's a bit of a complex and I really like the minimalism of this design. Uh, the cushion so far is working fantastic. But even the bump stop itself will wear out eventually as well and crack the welds or what have you. Uh, another question that people have been, answer, uh, have been saying is, why did you weld the, the pallets on? It Wouldn't it be nice if they were interchangeable and all that kind of thing? Uh, there's a reason why I've designed it the way it is. Now, I use a lot of different tooling for the different things that I make. And for me, it's important to have a very quick changing die which essentially is a, a shoe that basically slips on and off these ones. So generally I will use these a lot for most things um, and you'll have noticed that when you go one way it, it kind of fullers it stretches the material out really nicely with those nice radius edges but then you come to the other side and it actually has a flatting uh, spot you know that that point in the middle is actually flat across there so that kind of acts like a, a very small flatter but let me show you now my quick release interchangeable die system uh, for all the tooling that I'm going to use for for the rest of these projects uh, so the last thing that I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to obviously fill the holes where the old piping went make some caps for these pillars here um, and I'll make them removable because eventually I want to fill these pillars with sand which will help with some of the vibration dampening. Uh, and then I'll get the whole thing powder coated and I bet you'll be interested to know which colour I will paint it. And in the meantime I've hit 10,000 subscribers so a massive massive thank you to all you lovely people who have come to see me do stuff. Uh, and I, I'm pleased to say that I should be able to ramp up the uh, the speed of these videos now, which would be awesome. Uh, the next video that will be released be released very soon is sponsored by my workplace, making a wood burner, believe it or not. So that should be very interesting. But hey ho, let's get into some die making now. Yeah.